This week on sports, we are joined by Samantha Chame Foydle, the goalkeeper for the UFC women's soccer team. Samantha is currently coaching soccer ability in power chair soccer. Samantha is pursuing an arts degree with a French major and is ready to take on the challenges of the season to come. She not only lives and breathes soccer, but she coaches as well. For over four years Samantha has been a head coach for several different soccer teams including the Calgary, Mini Stars boys and girls teams. Please help me give a warm welcome to Samantha. How you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Thanks All right, uh, so as you hear, we'll, we'll be having some lovely cupcakes later, so just in case, keep that in the back of your mind. Um, so what the information you sent in to us, I just have to ask you a few questions about you first. Mm -hmm. I hear you have a pretty insane background. I do. So most people can't actually tell what my background is or my heritage. Um, I actually had a guy the other night tell me I look like an alien in a good way. So not oh. sure what that meant, but thank you. Um, There's good I, uh, aliens. I don't know. I guess. I'm actually, so my one half is Chinese, Trinidadian, Portuguese, and Scot. Um, my other half is German, Austrian, and Dutch. And Oof. they speak fluently German and Cantonese, although they didn't teach me either. But I am fluent in French and can speak a little bit of the Cantonese and German. At a restaurant, perhaps. That's oh my about goodness, it. that's insane! So if the sports thing doesn't work out. Translators on your list. Then. Oh yes, <laughs> great, <laughs> awesome. Uh, so you're you're a soccer goalie. We, is that is that what we're about that? Yep. Well, this, this is pretty impressive. But yeah, I was yeah. a soccer goalie when I was 14. McKnight Community Soccer. Mom, you were there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, is it is it terrifying as it was? Is it for you as it was for me for having flying projectiles hurling towards you? Um, well, I mean, something you can't teach for most goalies is we have something in us that's kind of reverted compared to everyone else. We actually go to the balls that fly and try to smash us in the face, whereas others try to hide and turn away. So for me, I always wanted to kind of st stop the shot and stop someone from attacking, whereas my team glorified anyone that could put it through the nets. So. Yeah, us goalies. Yeah, we didn't hide. <laughs> A little crazy. I hid. I completely hid. Uh, so, and anyway, before we booked you on the show, we didn't know you were the coach of, uh, of a power chair soccer team. And I know you, you didn't know Michael before then, but you knew some of his friends. How did you get into like that area of coaching? Um, well, I'm really fortunate. I have quite a few mentor coaches um, in the city, in Calgary, as well as British Columbia, BC. Um, and a lot of them opened me to the paranational world, so para soccer as well as the power chair. Um, it's not wheelchair just because we want to allow cerebral palsy athletes to play. So if they use their electrical chair, just like Michael playing hockey, um, it allows them to play and widens the player field. So for me, I was able to coach through Alberta soccer and now I work with a team that plays every Sunday at the Talisman and it's phenomenal. Wow, that's outstanding. So you, you have a lot of sports under your belts. What are some of your favorites? I do. Um, some of my favorites to watch, of course, Canadian hockey. Um, football, basketball, I get such a rush when I go to the games. Mm -hmm. uh, to play myself, I'm a huge outdoorsman actually, so if I didn't play competitive soccer or basketball growing up, um, I would swim, I would hike, rock climb, canoe, all that kind of stuff. Great. And you're in off season now, so do you have any tips and tricks besides your three crazy knee surgeries <laughs> and how to like stay fit and healthy? Um, biggest thing is find something that motivates you. So. I have a bunch of YouTubers I love following. I have friends of mine who love being active together, so we'll go grocery shopping or we'll work out together, that kind of thing. Great. But actually, compared to my um, previous coaches, this is our preseason for next year, so oh, awesome. we're uh, getting into even better shape than we were during preseason. So great. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, all right, and here comes uh, one of my new favorite segments. Tender Tinder moments.